folks, I'm Lady, and this is First 15, where I bring the first 15 minutes of the latest games releasing on Xbox Game Pass. Today we're playing Jusin, or Jusin, which is how I'm going to pronounce it, because I can't imagine it's Jusant, but it's an atmospheric climbing adventure game where you put Link to shame with your clambering skills. The focus is on managing your stamina and using your tools and your wits to figure out how to best traverse this world with remnants of a civilization left behind. Now, it was published and developed by Don't Nod Entertainment, who of course brought us the Life is Strange series and Tell Me Why, which I played through on the channel, but also other lovely games that don't get talked about, so I'd recommend checking out their website to see everything they have in development. The playtime for Jusson is about three hours plus, and you get to explore at your own pace, so it's definitely meant to be more of an experience than a challenge. Either way, I'll link to the game in the box. Let's get started. Oh, it is Jusson. All right, a French nautical term for a receding tide. Yeah, because I think it's like it means to ebb. So that makes sense. Or maybe I should say it makes sense. <laughs> I'm sorry, French people. I'm sorry. <laughs> and as usual for these, I'm recording it on my PC, but I am using my Xbox controller. Ah, gorgeous already. Oh, I forgot to get my timer. Because like I said, I do time these. So, <laughs> you know, I try to stop around 15 minutes, but usually that doesn't happen because games are so great. I know they have atmospheric moments like this and I don't want to cut them out, especially when it's how it introduces you to the game. Hey, buddy, you got something green on you. Hmm. It is interesting, like, when you look at the environmental storytelling, there are remnants of something here that was taken over by the environment. You know, you have boats that obviously seem like they're very far from any water. Everything is in disarray. You know, you have the anchors, you have supplies. You have one sitting over there atop a rock. Yeah, so this is going to be a little bit of the discovery element, you know, where I hesitate to say it's necessarily story driven, but maybe it's more environmental storytelling driven. Hmm. Huh. He's considering his options. I personally would love to go rock climbing, but like, you know, an inside climbing wall, just so I can feel what it's like to really only use my upper body strength and see like what my grip strength is like. But you would never, no matter how good I got at that, never catch me on an actual mountainside. There are so many ways you could die in this world. I don't want to pick one that's, you know, completely unnecessary like falling off a mountain. I didn't need to be climbing up in the first place. All right, anyway, chapter one, day mark. Also, I'm nearly caught up with posting all these first uh, 15 episodes. But, you know, I said I was going to post them every day. I decided to give you guys a few days as a break <laughs> because I really was posting them every day. But I'm definitely going to look around because this is a part of the experience. Like, my God. There are even ship pieces really like right in the mountain. Interesting. For those of you who follow things that um, are Christian related, which I don't, but it's just I'm in America, so there's a lot of Christian stuff all over the place. But this reminds me of um, the story where they were like, oh, they think they found remnants of Noah's Ark, like stuck up in a mountain or something. Anyway. Oh, that was a climbing thing. I thought it was a viewing thing. Well, before I do that, let's go over here. Also, this feels really good. It's a little bizarre that his... Oh, his hands do come out. 
Like, who runs with their arms <laughs> tucked in like that? That's bizarre. You're a bizarre child, but you're cute. Oh, I want to go there. How do I... Can I climb down? He has a gorgeous leap. Look at that. Oh, so majestic. But I want to get down there. Maybe there's a different way. Okay, well... For now, let's go the first place we've seen. And I encourage you with all of these games to explore these settings because there will be different um, accessibility settings. Oh boy. All right. Okay, release the left arm. So it's literally for my left and right arm. And I search for a hold. So we're gonna go to this one. And then what do I do? Do I hit a, I do oh, this is child, 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 hold on. Okay, so it's basically just using my left and right arm. And it's funny, I had watched something about rock climbing and I completely forgot everything that I learned about the different types of grips that you do, the different types of holds. Also, excuse if you can hear the car. Normally I close my window when I record, but you know, it's so stuffy that I've just been leaving it open. So if you hear trains, planes, and automobiles, You'll know that was a good movie, and also you'll know that life exists outside of here. The icon displays the rope's main carabiner? Carabiner? I don't know, I'm gonna pick one and it's probably gonna be the wrong one. Alright, I get to wind the rope in. Cool. Oh god, child, I'm so worried for you. I'm so worried for you. Look at all those birds. Ah. Huh. Interesting. Can I look at things? Let's go. And now I don't know if there's any voice acting, but there was a... Hold on. These Caribners uh, automatically secure the climb and show you the right paths to take. Again, th that's, that's very fast. What was I going to say? Oh, I don't know if there's voice acting, but in the settings there was a volume slider for speech. I turned that up and turned other stuff down, just in case. Can I do anything with it? Like, can I knock that down? Why would I? Is the answer to that. Hmm. Okay. Here we go. I do like that my rope just kind of clings on by itself. Can you reach this, my child? Yes, you can. You're such a cute little climby boy. Can you shimmy? and then release the right hand. It is pretty intuitive if you just remember that you're controlling your left and right hand independently. Where am I trying to go though, around? I feel like it's directing me to go around the left because that has like an obstruction. So let me go this way. Let me just go with the game's visual cues. And like, you know, there's a name for example for when you actually just have to leap and grab onto the next hold. There you go. When on the ground, wine, B winds in the rope. Okay. Didn't you tell me that already? Didn't you tell me that already, game? I mean, it is nice to look at. Okay, I'm gonna go that way. Is there something up here I can look at? Huh? The three small icons represent secondary pythons. If they're full, they're available to use. If they're empty, are already attached to the wall. I don't know how to pronounce that because I know what they are, but I don't think I've ever said it out loud. Yeah, there we go. This is what I'm talking about. This has a name when you have to do that. Oh, boy. <laughs> Got it. Uh Oh, And I will say, if you look at the trailers, the right hand gauge represents your stamina, monitor it and keep it topped up to prevent yourself from fall. Okay, um, yeah, got it. All right, it's depleting at a fair rate, uh, but yeah, before something else happens, <laughs> I was gonna say that if you watch the trailers, you will see that there are other gimmicks as you progress through this. I'm just trying to see if my stamina is actually going up or if it's just not depleting anymore. But yeah, I wouldn't bother watching the trailer just because the game itself is so short. You know, why spoil the beautiful things that are going to come later? 
I'm just telling you for the sake of this first look that if you're looking at this at no child, no child. Child, just climb, just climb, okay? <laughs> Jesus. Stop telling me about the rope game. But yeah, I'm just telling you that for the sake of this first look, in case you're looking at this and you're like, oh, I don't want to play a whole, you know, three hours game where all I'm doing is clambering up a thing with the triggers. There will be more to the climbing mechanics that you will appreciate. That's all I'm going to say. So what can we gather from the things that we're discovering? Hmm? Well, first of all, they had some kind of luminescent something or other here. There's a lot of bioluminescence in the ocean. And this is clearly an ocean faring like sea people because all they do all day is just to catch things in nets. Left, right, left. Whoop, sorry. I mean, it does feel good. Don't let the fact that I'm a little fumbly make you think that the controls aren't good because the controls are. It's just when you make the connection, it's not necessarily as intuitive like when he's going to actually grip or not sometimes. Another sleep turning over stones at the old Delta. Harvest. Two belay stations for parts. A good catch. That should be enough to reopen the route to the old cape. Otherwise, it's all smooth sailing. A couple of old lanterns I think I can revive. Folks used to throw this stuff away. Oh, and I finally caught an old knitting machine for Ennio, who's been asking for one for cycles. Not in great shape, but we should be able to tinker with it. Still not sure how I'm going to haul it up to low tide, though. That's interesting because it makes me feel like this whole thing, the different levels of the mountain, I guess, were marked off by like where the tide actually reaches. So by saying like, I don't know how I'm going to haul it up to low tide, he probably meant to that particular level of the mountain like that they live on. Anyway, uh, note to self, stop doing business with Rem. All he does is dismantle my discoveries and sell them for parts in the heights. He claims to be a repairman, but he's nothing but a foam salesman. That's what. And so like the heights, that's probably, you know, the higher up portion of the thing. I feel like I can't speak English today, but you know what we're going to do to remedy that? We're going to stop talking. <laughs> we're going to just stop talking and keep going and keep looking at things. Oh. Hey, birdums. All right, child. The rope can be attached to most surfaces by holding down X. All right, got it. That's cool. Are you telling me I could have done that before? At the part where I was saying I want to go down? Unless I guess now that you know you can do that if you wanted to play again, maybe. And I didn't see a way for him to get over the side of that, though. But yeah, let's... What? I don't... I'm not... I'm not trying to jump there. I'm... What I'm trying to do is figure out... Boy, stop. Boy, stop. Boy. <laughs> God. He's gonna turn me into freaking Kratos in a second. Maybe I'm supposed to just swing. Can I just do that? Yeah, maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> All right. Can I climb that? No, I can't touch that. Oh, let's go down a little more. I got it. Oh my God, his momentum, child. You make me worry for you at every turn. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, now he's just swinging. Now he's just, there we go. You were just showing off at that point. All right, sorry guys. <laughs> just got to get used to what I can and can't do. You know? What is this? What is this showing? That's up there. I don't know, but I'm going to go in here first. Oh, God, that. Could I have gone up this way? Interesting. So this is definitely a game where verticality matters. So you, you know, should look up and down rather than just forward. And I like the music. Huh. <sighs> What's this? Hmm. 
Hmm. What is that, a glove? And I do like that because that means that depending on where you explore, there might be things you find that unlock different cutscenes that maybe somebody else didn't find because of the way they went, you know? All right, let's quit that, I guess. Oh, uh, that was weird. Do you have anything to say about that, child? Placing a secondary pit and anchors you if you fall. Again, I don't know if that's what they're called. Hmm. The rope can be attached to most surfaces by holding down. So I could go down here. Whee! There you go. Interesting. Ooh. Is that a little crevice that I wasn't aware of? Well, first, let's see what's down here. Is this a thing I should even be touching? I don't know. Oh my god, I don't want to get him stuck. I feel like this is not where... No, you know what? Let's just go back. <laughs> that is one downside to games that have open exploration is, you know, it incentivizes you to just try things. And sometimes you try things that you shouldn't. Yeke, I'm just going to pronounce all their names like if it were Japanese. Yeke, how are things at the sawmill? Business has been slow at the restaurant. Almost no one came to the last music night, even though people are climbing down from all over. I know we don't play the shells anymore, but still. I was thinking that adding scaffolding to the side of the upside down cliff might help steer passerbys this way. I miss seeing a packed patio. Can you take care of it? I checked with low tide and everyone agrees. Hey, Mo, listen, these things happen. I hope one day you'll ask me to do something besides taking boats apart to make ladders, like if I'm free for a romantic dinner for two. Anyway, all good for your scaffolding, since the village approves. I don't have much wood to choose from after that new path to the plane I had to build, but I still have a wreck or two left over. I'll get to it when the currents allow. I owe you one, thanks. You're the best. By the way, do you ever run into old Sanja? I think she's rummaging around in your area right now. If you see her around, do you mind telling her I need a new hob for my oven? Mine's taking on water. In the meantime, set sail for the restaurant. I'm not sure how romantic it will be, but we can always share a half-cooked meal. All right, cool. I like that they scribbly scrabbly instead of sending text messages, which obviously they can't do. Here we go. Let's go back this way again. Okay. Is there anywhere from here that I can climb up? Okay, rest. Because this looks like they might make good handholds. So let's just swing our way over here. Gorgeous. Okay. So that's why it was saying that you have to really, you know, take care to manage how many of those you actually have out because you can't retract them. Uh oh, 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 all right. Oopsie daisy. Retract everything. Thank you. Wow, those are weird. Hi. Hi, little guys. Come here. Oh, is that somewhere I could have gone to? I can't see. Oh, it looks like it's like half broken off, so. Um. I do like this. This also reminds me of, oh boy, please, child. <laughs> Don't get stuck in the geometry. It's an indie game. It's an indie game. Um, but I was going to say that it reminds me of 
two things. One was Tower at Tortena, and another was a game I played more recently. I don't know if I played it in like as part of a game jam, like one of my Toast and Jam episodes or what, but it, basically both of them are about like climbing and you learn more about the civilization as you climb. Anything interesting happening down? All right, fine, then let's go up. Yeah, I prefer that I could just hit A to jump and he just latches on and then I have to hold. Yeah, if you see me fumbling with something like I it might be that I'm just trying to see what I can and can't do rather than that the controls themselves are iffy, but it does take some getting used to for sure. Just drop drop down right here, child. Let's see if there's anything cool. Anything on that side? No. Nope. Right. Discoveries. It wasn't until I started my shift to prepare for the crossing that I realized it's my last crossing to supply Fumarolia. After that, folks will have to make do with what they have. What I wouldn't give for things to go back to the way they were. Seeing smiles on people's faces, the little ones climbing the cliffs and diving into the waves, and us water fishers learning to fish again. All the things the old folks tell us about sleep after sleep. But enough of this yearning for old times. I've got a desert to cross and a caravan to prepare. It's not going to prepare itself, if only. Okay, so this is when, you know, the sands had already taken over. Interesting. All right, so you know what I'm going to do? Because I think that might have saved. I'm going to end this here so that I'm not showing you guys too much. Because again, the game is fairly short so I want you to experience the rest for yourself especially the parts that I kind of made reference to that I won't spoil like I can understand why they would refer to it as a sort of puzzle climbing game because there is some strategy to being able to look around and choose where you want to try to grip choose where you want to try to swing and yet you can't just go anywhere as we've seen or you might just get stuck <laughs> so yeah there is definitely that puzzle aspect to it but i think this is a wonderful addition to the library so that was the first 15 of juice home if you like what you see you can play it right now on game pass and if you like this series please like the video to show your support i'll see you back here soon with another game pass release until then thanks so much for watching and happy gaming